What's most compelling about this series is not so much the retro futuristic ideas, and they're great, but the Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, like selling process at play, the secrets the characters have, or their ability to sniff out the truth. Do you feel like this series examination of people has given you a greater understanding of humanity or are your red flags going up? Are you more suspicious of people? I think I'm naturally not suspicious. I'm more curious. I want to use mm -hmm. that word. I'm more curious of people than I'm like blaming them for, for something. Um, but I, I do think the fact that our show is like that brings a complexity that's mm -hmm. unlike a lot of shows out there, and I really enjoy that. What I found unique about, besides, yes to both things you just said, but Billy's character was a con man who's selling hope, mm -hmm. who really mm -hmm. believes in that though, uh, with almost a religious uh, zealot tree about it. Mm -hmm. And um, that I found unique. You know, that gray area of, well, if you're, you're bullshitting someone and I guess on the one hand, bilking them, on the other hand, you're actually handing them their life back. Yeah. Um, that's an amazing concept. Those are great ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another great thing is just how quickly the history among the characters can be felt, especially your, th your characters. Like, I love the moment when Herb says, I have no gripes in such a well-mannered fashion. And then Eddie will be like, shut up. And, and it's, 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 <laughs> it's like they- It might they, have been an ad-lib that shut up. But it was good. That, shut up. Yeah. It was good. It, it's like they, they each know all the, the different faces they have in their Rolodex as, as salespeople, and it adds to the humor and the tension. So in addition to uh, you saying shut up, how apparent was it, was the like the history of the characters on the page and what were those little splashes of color that you added to greater illustrate the history among these characters? I mean, I felt the writers did a, an incredible job just having the characters play off of each other. And for Herb and Eddie, you know, Herb is the eternal optimist. Eddie is the opposite. Mm -hmm. So allowing them to play in scenes was a lot of fun because you're getting to see the scope of humanity. And like, I feel we all as human beings can relate to some of the little quirks that each character has, you know? Right. Um, and the techniques that we bring to our sales strategies or how we get customers and this sort of thing mm -hmm. yeah that history though was built in but it's we had a like there was a scene we shot uh early on that was supposedly the first time you see these characters and there, for a variety of reasons it didn't quite work and uh story-wise and otherwise and we had to reshoot a different version of it and we were glad though to revisit it because we did feel like we had even in that few weeks working together created a chemistry that was speaking to what I think you're talking about of having a shorthand with each other and, and knowing yeah. who we were. I mean, one of yeah. the first scenes that we had to do, we had to kiss. Yes, I felt completely natural doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that flowed. <laughs> I did not, but it's a part of our job, right? Yeah. <laughs> to make it believable. And I think like I was already immersed in the script. So I already knew my love for his character, Eddie. And I, that's what I had to come in and play. Yeah, yeah. Well, kind of speaking of that, that there, I, there seems to be like an interesting connection between being an actor and maybe being a salesperson like there's there's a great line in this series about how being a salesperson and going door to door to meet people is like the greatest classroom you could ever have and so i feel like the same could be said of being an actor like diving into these different people from different places did, did you draw that connection um and did you do you feel like playing different characters is pretty much like the greatest classroom into humanity Oh, that's that's an awesome question. I do think with this show that we are selling our version of the truth. Um, mm. But there's always truth underneath it, especially with being in for me anyway, when I'm acting, there has to be this like rooted grounded truth or it's not believable. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think of acting more that less about selling it and more about we get to delve into 
aspects of ourselves that we wouldn't normally. It's almost like therapy. Right. Like yeah. You re- like our job is to explore how that felt when I was nine, when that trauma happened, and you know that teenage experience. You bring it back, and you're like, oh my god, you know, buried stuff about your family and things like that come up and out. Yeah. Like and- Shirley is me, but with a different set of rules than mm. what Hanifa would have in her life. Right. But this also reminded me of, I think of acting too sometimes is we're just con men. We're really no. just, sometimes I even do takes and I think, cause you have to do it so many times in the course of a day. And sometimes what will drive me in a take of just like, if someone were watching this, I just had to convince them that this were really happening. What would I do? You know, mm. if I were just trying to con someone or, or trying to get away with it, like if I were a spy or something or undercover guy, because you want to make it that believable. It should pass that smell test. Yeah. yeah. No, I did not pass this one. I didn't pass any of the smell test. <laughs> just just smell the cookies. Well, uh, <laughs> thank you yes, so much. Yes, exactly. You were paying yeah. attention. Yeah, you really were paying attention. <laughs>